Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Phoebe. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining us. If you've been here, thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you for telling your friends to tell their friends to tell their mama's friends to come check me out. Before we get started, if you have not subscribed already, please subscribe. <laughs> Turn on your bell notifications because around here you want to stay on top of every drop, okay, baby? Anyway, so today we are doing a drugstore look. I went to Target. I spent a little more than I would like, even with my coupons. So it was $126, but not everything on here was a beauty thing. So let's say I spent like $80 to $90, but I got some drugstore makeup and I wanna beat my face with some drugstore makeup. And I also wanna just show you guys that you can have a great look on a budget. Okay, you do not have to go and buy a $40 foundation like I did. This was like $10, I think less than that. Um, This is one of what I picked up. This is the Elf Flawless Satin Foundation and it was $14. $14 compared to my $40 Huda foundation. Let's get started so y'all can see how great you can look on a budget, okay? All right, so I'm gonna show you all what I got. I got the e.l.f. foundation, this was $14. I used my coupons, I got my receipt. I got the Beauty Bakery Bite Size Setting Powder. I believe this was like $8 if I'm not mistaken. Nope, it was $12. It comes in this cute little pack. I got the color Cassava which is like a yellow color. It's basically banana powder. Um, but I've seen a lot of people on Instagram using this. So I really wanted to try it out and I didn't know that they were at Target, but it comes in this little packaging. It's super cute. Um, again, I got the bite size in the color cassava. I picked up some nails because I don't know. I just want to be cute. I picked up this beautiful elf palette. Okay, look at this. This is the 18 hit Wonder Eyeshadow Palette by e.l.f. I think this was the most expensive thing that I bought. This was, where is it? Well, this was $14. This was $14. So that means the e.l.f. foundation was actually cheaper. But this was $14. I had my coupons like I told you guys. But this is what it looks like. I'm gonna be using this palette for today's look. I also picked up Maybelline, um, blackest black eyeliner because I want to do a smoky eye and I've heard some great things about this specific eyeliner. I picked up a L metallic liquid metallic eyeshadow. I picked up a tinted brow mascara and I actually love this. I already have it. I just got a new one because the one that I have was already finished. I picked up this LA Girl Pro concealer palette because it reminds me of the Huda Beauty palette and this is cheaper than the Huda Beauty palette. This was I think it was like $4.99. No, it was $8.99, I'm sorry. This was $8.99, which is amazing because the Huda Beauty palette is like $32, no. And then the last few things I picked up. I picked up a CoverGirl brown eyeliner. This is liquid. I picked up some more color corrector because I am out. Like I'm literally squeezing my tube. So I had to replace that. I picked up this white base. Again, this is by LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the color Ferris. I'm using this just for my cut crease and also as a base for eyeshadow. Last but not least, I picked up this NYX Professional Makeup Eyeliner Stick Pencil in the color All Time Olive. I wanna do a green eye look, so this is gonna come in handy whenever I decide to do that. But that is all I got. And honestly, it was all $126, but that's also because I bought some skincare stuff. I bought some Vaseline for my lips, but this was amazing for that amount of money because if I was to spend $100 at Sephora, I would probably be leaving with two things. No lie. If not two, three, but no more than that. And so if I got maybe 12, 13 things here for less than $100, I'm happy. Okay, let's get started on this look because I feel like I'm talking a lot. <laughs> All right, so to prime my face, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I already have this in the house, but it's a great primer. Drugstore primer, I should say. All right, next, going in with my foundation. This is the e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation. I got the color Mocha. Now, the options for this foundation, they don't have a lot, but this matched me perfectly. Um, so again, I'm using just two pumps. 
I'm gonna use my favorite brush by Sonia Kashuk and I'm just going to blend that in. I didn't have my mirror set up. So you guys can see this is a great foundation and it is giving me that satin finish. My skin is still glowing under and it matches me perfectly. It's a little dark, but once I put on my highlight, it's just going to look so much better. So again, you do not have to break bank for a great foundation. This is for everyone who is like trying to find that foundation that will give them that expensive look without them having to spend money. Because I'm honestly not a fan <laughs> of buying these expensive foundations. I do it for y'all, okay? Uh, but yeah, anyway, this is a great foundation. I love the coverage. It's buildable. But with the two pumps that I did, this is what I got. So you see? It has a little fragrance in it. I don't know what it is. I'm hoping it does not break me out because I don't do good with fragrance. And I thought when I tried it on that it was maybe the perfume that I was wearing that day, but no. It has like a baby powder smell to it. It's not strong, it's not perfume. I don't know, it's just, it's very subtle. But it smells like something. It has a very subtle um, fragrance. So if you know you don't do good with fragrances and any beauty products or any skincare products, you might wanna avoid this. But this is what it looks like. Next up, I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. This is in the color Chestnut. This is the color I normally use to like clean my brows. So I'm just happy that I had it in the house. Again, we're putting it here. This concealer, I believe, is like $4 at Target. You can possibly get it cheaper online, but I didn't feel like waiting. I like when I get what I want right when I want it, so. But $4 is still not bad, and it gives you great coverage. I've been using this for years, so. If you watch my base tutorial, you should see how I do my base. So I'm kind of speeding through this because I do have that video for you. It's a very recent video. I'm going to put it to, at the top of this so you can just refer to it. But it shows you exactly how I do my base. And I explain everything, why I do what I do, blah, blah, blah. Check it out. I'm gonna go in with a lighter color and I'm putting it just in the corner on top of the chestnut. And that is all. Next, I'm gonna go in with my favorite thing to contour with. This is the Black Radiance um, Foundation Stick. Again, another great drugstore product. I've been using this for years. If you watch one of my first beauty videos on this channel, I use this and I'm still using it because it's just amazing. I have another one that is a drugstore. It's the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear um, More Than Concealer. This is in the color Truffle. I'm not really a fan of the liquid. I really like this foundation stick so much better. So you can see that the LA Girl Pro Concealer blends out really well. Um, if I did not use my NARS concealer for like every look, I would definitely use this because I have no problem with it. It's a great concealer, it works well, it blends out well, all the coverage is good. It's also buildable. And some days when I don't feel like wearing foundation, I actually just put on the concealer, a little bit of contour, and I'm good to go. So that's another option that you have. If you don't feel like putting on a full face. I didn't color correct, so that's why you see me doing this. But again, a great color corrector is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I mean, color corrector in the color orange if you're trying to cover up dark um, dark spots and hyperpigmentation. If you are trying to cover up any redness, you wanna use the color green and not the color orange. 
you just gonna look really red if you use orange. If you're co covering up hyperpigmentation, like for dark skin people, when we get acne marks, they're black, they're dark. So you wanna use orange. If you are white or light skin, do not use orange because it's going to make you red. Now, if the marks are like dark, then you can definitely use orange, but if they're not, don't do it. And don't use a lot, okay? Because when you blend it out, I know some of these like beauty YouTubers will put their whole face and put red lipstick all over their face to like color correct. That's a bit OC, like you ain't gotta do all that. That's just my opinion, but hey, what do I know? All right, so as of late, my favorite bronzer has been the Fenty bronzer in the color Mocha Mami. But my favorite drugstore bronzer is the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Bronzer. And this is the replacement for the Ebony Girl bronzer that I used to use. They had discontinued it, but I think because a lot of people complained, they came back out with this. It's obviously not Ebony, but I mean, um, not the Queen Latifah um, CoverGirl, but it's still great. If you watch my base tutorial, you know why I am warming up my face with some bronzer before I set it. It's something I picked up from your good girl, Jackie Ina, and I have not stopped ever since. Do y'all hear my brush? It's time for a new one. <laughs> These were one of the first brushes I ever, like really professional brushes I ever bought. And they're from like BH Cosmetics. They have amazing brushes. So if this is like eight years old, it's done its job. All right, now I can set my face. I'm going to use that Beauty Bakery uh, Pinch Flower setting powder. That thing where you, nah, that's a waste of setting powder. Don't do that, don't do that. Unless you got money to waste. You ain't got money to waste. That is beautiful. Do you see that? It is like melting into my skin. This is a new favorite. I'm gonna go pick up some more. This is a new favorite, okay? And I did not tell y'all the price. Where is my receipts? I can tell y'all the price. I'm gonna find it later, but oh, this is a new favorite. Wow, this is really amazing. And here's what I love about it. It allows you to control how much you want to like remove. Um, and you can close it so it doesn't spill. A lot of my setting powders, sometimes a lot collects at the top and it makes it hard to control how much you wanna put on your face or your brush. This allows you to sift it out. Like, excuse me, a sift? What? Hold on, let me show you what I'm talking about. Here's the cover. It lets you figure out how much you wanna take out. It doesn't all just like come out. And hello, that's gonna save you so much money. Look at that, nothing. Amazing. If you have smile lines, you can set them while you do your makeup so that it doesn't crease. Look at that. I used what I wanted and not too much. What? This is great because it helps you save product, which helps you save money. Go get it. All right, I'm gonna do my brows. For my brows, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Um, eyebrow pencil. I have a lot of um, drugstore eyebrow pencils. I have e.l.f. I have Milani. I have NYX. I have another one, Maybelline. So again, for brows, you don't have to get the Anastasia Beverly. You don't have to bake bank. I got these four and they cost me less than $12 a piece and they work phenomenally. Today, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Ultra, Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. And this, I think it's in the color like brown or black. I like my brows dark, so I usually go for like the darkest color. It applies beautifully, the color is there. You don't have to like break, like it just looks great. Do you see that? So again, this is an amazing brow pencil. It is literally what it says, it's very precise. The color is, it like packs a punch. As you can see, my brow's already done. 
that's the difference it's perfect all right my brows are on i'm going to go in with this tinted brow mascara and this is just to like hold my brow in place um and this is by nyx i got the color espresso like i said i like my brows dark and I usually put this just in the front to give it a more like realistic look. Sometimes your brows can look overly drawn. I'm not really a fan of that. I like natural brows. I like fluffy brows. So I put it in the front to take away some of the harshness. And then now I'm gonna go in with my LA Girl Pro Concealer to just clean my brows up. All right, you guys, I am using that LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Ferris to prime my eyelids. And I'm gonna use this BH Cosmetics, actually this Real Techniques um, Dome Shadow Brush to blend it out. You don't need a lot. I put a bit of that bakery powder under my eyes to catch any fallout just because I feel like this shadow, as much as I love this palette, as much as I think it's beautiful, I think it's gonna have a lot of fallout. So I, would, I just wanna protect my skin. All right, I'm going to start with this LA Girl Pro eyeshadow palette. I'm actually really excited to use this because the colors are beautiful. I'm gonna go in with this reddish brown color right here. All right, you guys, I'm going to pick up Supreme in the e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to be using my Sonia Kashuk medium eyeshadow brush. And what I want to do is just deepen out this outer V right here. And then pull that color up. So I'm packing it in the corner first. And then I'm going to blend it out. And what you want to do is build in the color as you want. Because I want it a little deeper and smokier, I'm going to keep building in that color until I get the finish that I want. But with shadow, it's not just one apply and then you move on. You actually want to build up the color so that it looks like what you want, you know? To blend out everything, I'm going to use this orange color right here. And I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk Blending Crease Brush. These colors, like I said, there's a lot of fallout. So you want to be cautious and you want to really tap out the excess because it's going to mess up your eye look. All right, you guys, so I'm just going in with the color Solar. And I did do like a partial crease with that fair eyeliner that I had. So the only thing I would say about this e.l.f. palette is the colors are not as pigmented as I would like. They're still there, but they're not really like still worth the money i mean for a beginner it's a good purchase it's actually it's really really good to have in your collection because you can practice with all the colors that come in here and it has everything that you need it has the matte colors it has shimmer it has transition shades so it's still it's not a horrible palette but it could be better that's one thing i would definitely say so I'm going back in with that first color that I use from the LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm just applying it to my outer V to get rid of any harsh lines that I may have. And then I'm going to grab my Sonia Kashuk brush and I'm going to take this brown color right here and this is just to like blend everything out because I feel like I have some harsh lines. And I'm just lifting up my brows a little bit. I 
right, I'm going to do my lower lash line and I'm going to start with that first brown or first reddish brick color that I used. And this is a Morphe M408 brush. Next up, I'm gonna go in with the color Supreme from the e.l.f. palette. And this is what I used to darken out my outer V. I just did it in layers, that's why you see it's so dark. I'm gonna use that, this orangey, I'm gonna use this color for my tear duct. It's like a beautiful shimmery orange. Putting it on top of that yellow gives it like this golden color and it's really beautiful. I went back into my e.l.f. palette and I picked up this color right here. It's the color Penny. And I put it in my outer, in my waterline, but then I, not my waterline, but I put it right here in my tear duct. And then I just pulled it in. I didn't add any more to the brush. I just dragged it into my lid and into the cut crease itself. And I just like how the yellow mixes with the other colors and just looks different. I don't know. Next, I'm gonna go in with this brown cover girl eyeliner. I've never really used the brown liner before, but I'm excited. I don't want this to be too harsh. That's why I decided to go in with brown and not another color. And this is perfect because there's a liner there. There's like a wing there, but you can't really see it. So it's not really a significant difference, but you can see the brown liner. It blends in ev with everything perfectly and it's still subtle. I kind of took it into my tear duct and I did not like do a cat eye. I just highlighted my tear duct and that's it. All right, you guys, to contour, I am going to use my Black Radiance Contour Palette. And I'm gonna go in with this BH Cosmetics brush in the color number four. This is another great drugstore buy. I've had this palette for like three or four years and it does not go anywhere. Like it's just, I mean, I've reached a pan, but it's still doing what it has to do. Today for blush, I'm going to use my Milani Romantic Rose. This is another great drugstore um, buy. You guys know my favorite blush is the NYX Cinnamon, but I'm gonna go with this one today. It's a beautiful rose, and even though I'm dark skin, it still like shows up on my skin, in my opinion. <laughs> I think you can see it, right? Can you guys see it? <laughs> if it's not bright enough for you, what you can do is just going with another great drugstore buy. This is the e.l.f. Um, blush palette. It comes with four different colors. I'm gonna pick up this color right here just to intensify the one I just put down. Nothing too crazy. Voila. My jawline looks so good, okay? And to highlight, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my Black Radiance palette and I'm going to take this BH cost, this Morphe brush, the 509 brush. I'm gonna use two different colors to highlight today. I'm telling you, you don't need to spend a lot of money to beat your face, okay? Then I'm gonna go in with this color coat. This is from like CVS. It's like, it's it's not a brand that I know of. It just had some really beautiful colors when I picked it up. So I was like, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna pick up Beaming. It's like this rose gold color. Five 
For lips today, I am going to go back to my old Reliable. This is my favorite lip liner in the entire world. I don't care what nobody says. This is by NYX or NYX. It is in the color Espresso. Where is my sharpener? Because For today's lip of choice, I'm going to use my e.l.f. Mint Melt Lip Pump Plumping um, Gloss in the color Chocolate Chip. And I'm gonna apply this on my outer lip. And then I'm going to go in with my Revlon Pick Me Up lipstick in the center. I'm going to add my other favorite lip gloss from the beauty supply store if I can find it. All right, so the lip gloss that I'm going in with is my Lip Bar Minimalist Lip Gloss. I know the color is disgusting. That's because I don't use a different wand when I'm putting it on. And my lipstick kind of just like bleaches it, but it's mine. I don't do other people's makeup, so. I broke the wand, so yeah. So while I wait for my lashes to get dry, I'm gonna set my face. This is one of my setting sprays. It's the Milani Make It Last. I'm gonna cover my eyes because I don't want it to shift my eyeshadow. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. I threw on my ombre wiggy, um, and honestly, I am just so proud of myself. This look came out so much better than I anticipated because I was struggling with this palette. My goal today was to do an entirely yellow cut crease look, but this yellow was a disappointment, but I improvised and bam, baby, we look good. We look good. Um, everything again that I used was drugstore. Nothing was out of drugstore. Everything was drugstore. Um, I loved everything. My favorite thing that I purchased from the drugstore was this palette. This LA Girl palette is freaking amazing and I'm going to play with it until I use up all these shades because it's amazing it is a perfect dupe for the Huda Beauty found um Huda Beauty palettes which are $32 and this is like $12.99 so if you don't want to buy the Huda Beauty palette palette because it's expensive go get this one because it's inexpensive and it's amazing the, the shimmer is amazing the matte colors are amazing, super pigmented, very little fallout. I used mainly this palette for this look. I only used this palette for the yellow, which was a little, uh, but whatever. I'm still excited to play with this one. I'm going to use the other colors. I know for a fact that the yellow is not gonna show up on my skin, so I'm gonna avoid that next time. But I'm definitely going to keep playing with it because I just wanna see what it is that I can get out of this palette. Um, do I recommend both? I absolutely do. They're less than $20, less than $15. If you are trying to build up your makeup collection and you're on a budget, get these. You will not be disappointed. Go to your local Target and just get them. Like You don't have to do too much. This foundation, it's a medium coverage. It's buildable. The next time I use it, I'll probably apply a little bit more. I did only two pumps and it's not giving me the coverage that I want. I think it's because I did not color correct. But I'm going to try to color correct next time and see what it is that happens with this um but this was also amazing this cover girl liner this brown liner freaking amazing the pen is so little like it's so thin i don't think you guys can see that like it's so thin and it gives you this precise line i absolutely love it and i'm going back to get the other color i'm getting a black in this because this is amazing perfect point plus liquid liner perfection perfection um, what else did I use that was new? This is great as an eyeshadow base. Um, I didn't really use this today. 
the bakery setting powder is phenomenal it's phenomenal that's all i have to say i like the fact that you get to like sift out how much flour you want it sounds like i'm cooking but i like the fact that you get to sift out how much powder you want and use just what you want um and me shaking it like this i'm not worried about it collecting to the top because i closed it like it will not collect to the top like other powders and that's what's exciting because my other powders if i shook it like this it would just collect to the top and sit there which makes it hard for me to use it and use it in a controllable way but this is amazing um everything else was drugstore some of it I already had some of it was new again this is just to show you that you can get a great look from just drugstore products i did not use anything that was not from the drugstore today and literally everything that i used today came from target except for these lashes that are um, by my cousin and this highlight that i got from cvs but you don't even have to use this you can just use this and you'll be okay um but yeah that that's literally it this this was amazing i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial um I hope this motivates you to just like build up your own collection. You do not have to break bank to build up a great makeup collection. I can share with you all my collection if you want. Or my next my next look, I could do a high-end look. I mean high-end on my budget. Not high-end on like Jackie Ima's budget because your girl is still growing. But um, just let me know what you guys want to see. I want to say thank you guys so much for 1,000 plus subscribers. You guys are so amazing. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for helping me grow. Thank you for the love. Um, just thank you. Um, I think I'm tired of saying um. But yes, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and you have not subscribed yet, please, 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 please subscribe. Leave a comment. Turn on your bell notification. Tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their mama's friends to come check me out. Okay? Thank you all so much. Stay safe.